With the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer coming this Thursday, there's a lot of hunger for Red Dead Redemption 2 in general. Personally, I've been wanting to hear more about Red Dead Redemption for a very long time, and especially with GTA Online getting more stale by the week, it's getting to the point for me where not only I want to start covering some more stuff about Red Dead Redemption 2 in videos, but also like in playing-wise. I mean, I mean, we're nearing up on four years of GTA Online, and yes, Rockstar is still trying to put out content as much as possible but with the drift feeding getting worse every single update and especially this time where we're gonna get drift fed probably until Christmas time it's very clear that this is indeed the final days of GTA Online and I'm firstly kind of excited for it to end mainly because we can then finally play the game as it is in its current state. Now, some would argue that it's not in the best state and it's probably gonna stay that way, but at least we don't have to worry about having a certain amount of money and we can just play around with the content that there is at that time. A lot of people are of course kind of fed up with how the game has turned out, but I guess in the end you gotta learn to look at it that way that it's been four years of constant DLC updates, sometimes a bit faster than the others, but in the end we did have four years of content and a lot of people are still playing on a pretty regular basis, myself included. Now there's one big question and a big question of course is Thursday. What is going to happen on Thursday? Are we going to get a trailer, some screens or maybe even another delay? Now if it were to be the case of another trailer, I personally think that like with all the other Rockstar trailers and we can take GTA 5 as a recent example, the first trailer was very much a general idea of what the world was going to look like. The second trailer was much more in depth about the characters and just a general feel about what the game is going to be about. With Red Dead Redemption 2 that seems to be no difference as well because in the first trailer you didn't necessarily see too much faces it was all pretty zoomed out and in the second trailer you're probably going to see a bit more facial detail and hopefully even some more information about the main character or characters according to leaks because there might even be three characters. Obviously I'm not going to give any opinions on that just yet because we don't know if that's an actual fact or not. See, I'm personally really looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2, mainly because from a content side of things, I find it very, very enjoyable to figure things out and test stuff and then share it with you fine people. But to be quite honest with you, the main reason I did all the Smuggler's Run video, for example, is because I just found it fun to figure it out for myself. I mean, feels was a nice motivation as well, but mainly I wondered for myself and I just wanted to figure out how everything worked and Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be no exception of that too. I'm looking forward to figuring out all the ways of what works and what doesn't and hopefully Rockstar has learned from the mistakes of GTA Online and will actually listen to what the players are telling them like you know if this works and this doesn't I mean one of the biggest issues I personally have with GTA Online are the adversary modes because they're put out and after that they're not tweaked which is a huge shame because they have a lot of potential but that potential is always wasted by the fact that Rockstar doesn't really tweak stuff after it's been released. Sure, cars are a bit of a difference in that one when it comes to, for example, with the downforce, but just in general, they don't really seem to do much about the game balance, and I'm hoping that with Red Dead Redemption 2, they make the right decision and actually change that as well. And I know a lot of people are gonna be going on about shark cards and whatnot, but there's one thing you have to keep in mind. Red Dead Redemption and GTA are two completely different games. They also have two completely different audiences. GTA is a much bigger franchise than Red Dead and with GTA there's a lot more I guess children and kids playing it. With Red Dead Redemption it's much more a mature game. I mean GTA or GTA Online in its current state I guess is very much catered towards the little kids for example who just enjoy blowing shit up and stuff like that. Red Dead Redemption I don't really see it do that. It's more mature, it's, it's more catered towards in my opinion an adult audience. I don't think Red Dead Redemption 2 is very much catered towards the 13 year olds who are playing GTA Online right now 
now they're used to fucking hookers and blowing everything up that they see. Because Red Dead Redemption is not that type of game. Red Dead Redemption 2 it might be a bit different, but I'm hoping and thinking that they're not going to be too far away from the original Red Dead Redemption. With all that being said, make sure to stick around to my channel for a live stream on Thursday of whatever is going to come out. I'm just going to have chat involved and see what everyone thinks and kind of break all the news down whenever it would come out. Uh, obviously, if it's just, you know, a few screenshots and some information, I'll just make a video. But if it's an actual trailer, I'll probably do a live breakdown so we can kind of have a look at it together. Should be a good time. Make sure to stick around for that as well. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you all later.